All right, I'm gonna press a little Sally whistle rocket here. First thing I'm gonna do is lock my spindle in the base. It's got a side lock on it. There is no side bolt. You just slide her in there, tighten her down on the base good. Then we're gonna wax it up, help it release from the fuel easily. So I just got canning wax. That's just the what's left over of a stick. That's the same canning wax I put in my fuel. So that'll help that whistle not stick to that thing very much. So I'm going to take my tubes for it, lessen the bolts freckle. This might get one long winded. Let's see. Put the tube support on. Set that puppy down. Slide it on there. Make sure that's seated good. Actually, I almost wanted to cut it from this end. I actually like that a little tight. I like it tight on the base so they can't lose. My spindles are cut bigger at the base so it'll hold the tube there. They're 22 thousandths over just for that very purpose. So it'll grab the tube and the base stays on and no fuel creeps around there. Solid. Let's see, looks like her hammer walked off on my crappy table. I just take my first hammer, make sure she's wide, that tube's running wide. Those are fat tubes. I just have flat top spin tube sports is what I use. I don't like the whole, it keeps stuff from falling down in there and making a mess. I just grab a regular funnel and these use one teaspoon of comp per increment. So you get your one teaspoon, chuck it in there. Uh oh, what we didn't do is forgot to set the pressure. So we gotta run this up here. Set a pressure for these rockets. I got my new pressure adjuster on this guy. So all I have to do is turn the knob. That's about 6200 PSI, which is plenty for this rocket. Now we're ready to go. Slap it up there. Center it up. And then we go again. Another tablespoon. Hit them twice like that. I don't know why, I just think it's the thing to do. This is my small cylinder, a two and a half inch press. It's real quick, easy. I haven't done a lot of pressing sitting right here at it like this, but as you can see, it's not too hard. I need to check my rammers. There's nothing, there's one little booger there. Just grab a little rammer cleaner to clean it. Trying to go fast so we can make a video is different than 
pressing out your house or at the shop or at a shoot, wherever you're doing your pressing, hopefully not in your basement. That's ready to go to the next rod. Throw that out of the way. As you can see, as you progress, you don't usually even bother needing the, the rammer puller. If your rammers are getting stuck, you need to lower your increment or figure out what is causing them to get stuck in there. You can get comp right there. That'll get it stuck. Or you can be using too big of an increment. Or your fuel's too sticky for some reason. That's how they should come out of there. Quick and easy. Feels just a freckle sticky, but not bad. And I'm not using a big teaspoon, I'm using just part of it. I usually use two teaspoons for these. And this is just straight Sally Whistle on my strobe spindle, which does make a great rocket. Now, that spindle's done. It went to the no change rammer line, so we're going to grab some thick titanium delay. It's got all kinds of stuff in there. Flake titanium. A little bit of black powder, a little bit of any whistle. I love this stuff. Yeah, I go a little bigger increments once I'm above the spindle. It doesn't tend to catch as much. And I'm going to use one incremental whistle to lock that in there a little better. I might even put two. If I had a bulkhead tool handy, I would probably just use a bulkhead tool. I'm sure I got one hiding in the other room. But I don't see one here sitting by this. That's going to be our last increment, and then we'll show you how we get these things off of here. Perfect. Nice and solid. We break the bolts loose. Drop the stuff on the ground. They do get snug. There 
other pull pin to support off. Sorry about that, I had to go get my wrench, slap that in there. There we have it, a nice fuel grain. I don't know if you can see it, but that's quick. Run.